Audi at AP from the tailgate, home of Aggie football, brought to you by Frida Custom Homes, building Aggie dreams. Everybody loves the Frida Homes. Visit them at, at FridaHomes.com. I loved it some Saturday, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> Folks, don't forget to email us at AggsTailgate at gmail.com. Uh, visit us on the YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Leave us, leave us some commentary. Let us know what you think about the podcast. If you have questions, comments, you just want to talk some mess about whatever, holla. All right, Corey, we're going to get right into it, man. Go. Big game against Bama this past Saturday in Tuscaloosa, brother. Yeah. 24 to 20. 24 to 20 with a chance to take the lead in the last play of the game. Uh, I don't know. What was your <laughs> take? Give me your first takeaway, man. man Just, it's like I called and told you. It's like the play before that, the pass inter- the interference. I thought there'd be a little bit more time, maybe run two plays. Uh, Jimbo. His time management just doesn't seem that great. I don't know if he's too worried about calling plays, but we could have had more timeouts left. I mean, just a lot of mental mistakes. That play that we ran, I didn't like it at all. Um, I like to give Haynes, who's supposed to be a mobile quarterback, he didn't look that mobile, but A-Chain wasn't involved in the play. I mean, it looks like they had one person he was eyeing, that was it. Yeah, I mean, look, and we can get in in depth on that last play for sure. I thought that overall, and let me just start with this. Overall, I thought this team showed up and competed on Saturday. Yeah. They competed on Saturday. They showed up defensively especially. Oh, yeah. I thought they played their butts off. Um, but as a whole, as a whole, I thought those guys were out there playing their hearts out, man, and the effort was unbelievable. And I want I want to come back to one other thing. You, you're right about Haynes. It's weird that he's such a good athlete, but yet such a poor runner of the football. God, <laughs> but he he does he just doesn't look very natural with the ball in his hands when he's running. However, let me just say this. I said it before the game. I thought Haynes King gave us the best chance to win this game, even if Max Johnson was was not hurt. Oh, he did. Yeah. And I think that showed up because honestly, the dude was under duress all day long. If Max Johnson's back there, they've got 10 sacks. Oh, absolutely. If Max would have tried to step up in the pocket, which wasn't there, and he would have been gone. And I'll tell you, Haynes took some chances downfield, which usually makes me nervous, but I was glad he did because the receivers showed up and they fought for the ball. Stewart, huge catch. I don't. I mean, that was incredible, that catch he made on the sideline. Oh, my goodness. Had unreal. I mean, That's just play of the oh, year. And, and, right there. Hey, look, and Moose had a huge catch on a throw that was behind him as well. You know, over the middle that he came back and caught, dude, that was just spectacular up and up and behind him too. I mean, so those guys those guys continue to make plays on the outside. I don't get why Moose is just now getting playing time. Where was he the first three games, four games? I mean, he <laughs> didn't get on the field. I mean, does it take a nice getting hurt from Moose? Get, that, that sucks. It, it does suck because, honestly, that's a guy that we talked about before the season that we thought was a big-time, <laughs> yeah. big big-time playmaker for this offense, and it took a three weeks for him to get get on the field. Look, we, we've, been, we've been talking about him for a while, and I think now every time he's on the field, whether it's last year or this year, and getting some opportunities, the dude comes through. Yeah, He comes through. He had one drop there, and I think it was later in the game that probably stalled the drive in the middle of the field. But overall, the guy made, I don't know how many plays. But he looked open more than not. I mean, when I went back and watched some different plays, I mean, he's open in the flat a couple times. They just missed him. He's yeah. running better routes than mm-hmm. the freshmen are. He's, uh, he can catch the ball. He's athletic. Uh, he makes things happen. I just don't understand why he's on the field. Preston, uh, he finally got in the game a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But I still don't understand why he's not in the game. I didn't see Price as much, but I don't know. Yes, nor nor Lane as much this week. I mean, he did get on the field some, but he, he he's you know he's he heck he, at this point I don't even know that he blocks. Either. Yeah. So I don't know why he's I don't, I don't even know why he's in the rotation. Uh, I'd much rather have Preston out there, who we know can do some things with the ball in his hands and make some make some catches. Um, you look, Stewart made that one big catch, dude. Unbelievable. I mean, guy in front, guy in back, just over the I top. Don't know how he did that? 
Yeah, I mean, he had to time his jump perfectly and catch it with his fingertips. Because the guy in front of him, I thought, was going to pick it, at least hit it. And Stewart just came down, and we're all like, they're like, oh, that's incomplete. And I think they, did they review that? I think they reviewed, they reviewed that. It. Yeah, they <laughs> reviewed it. Incredible. Unbelievable. Yeah, Unbelievable incredible. play. Um, you know, but he also had a couple of drops. Yeah. He also had a couple yeah. of drops. You know, he, there's times when you see him just just a little inconsistent, maybe just whatever. But they went, you know, Jimbo loves him enough that that's the guy he went to at the end of the game, right? Right. That's how Jimbo feels about that. Mm-hmm. When it came down to the last play, that's the guy he was going to. And and look, there's you can talk about the fact that maybe there was some pass interference, you know, whatever. Maybe the time, they should have had more time. I didn't love the play. You know, look, they were sitting on those short routes all day. And they were attacking them hard. Yeah, there might have been some contact in there. They're probably not going to give you that call at that moment in the game, right? Mm, yeah. I mean, unless it is just he just runs right through, right? Basically. Um, I was surprised they called that pass interference on the play before. Yeah, on when Green. If if he doesn't grab a shirt, if, and it's so uh, yeah. right there, I think yeah, I think at that, that point was really surprised. Like, oh, got it. Oh, shit, they called it. Okay. They called. They called. And. Once again, another throw that he makes that maybe yeah. that Max doesn't get off, I don't think. Because I mean, under duress. But you said it earlier about the defense. The talent level between Alabama and AM is not far off. No. I mean, there's a player that we had played that Jackson played and showed up, and it didn't show in the stats so much, but I saw yeah. that guy all over the field. I know he had, I know he jumped one play. Look, it, look, McKinley is oh. an addition to this defense that, that's been missed all year. The guy makes a difference. He does. And let's just hope he stays healthy and stays yeah. on the field the rest of the year because he is your best defensive lineman. I mean, I saw him all over the field. I'm not just talking on the line of scrimmage. I yeah. saw him yeah. running after the – you know. One of the long runs by the quarterback where he the guy got out and, and McKinley's sitting there, you know, coming off the line. Yeah. And he's sprinting back. Exactly. Dude, yeah, and you don't see those. No, that hustle, you don't see it from exactly. everybody. Exactly. And that – you know, the other players are going to feed off that. They oh, think yeah. I'm doing that. They're going – no one's going to do that. All the – in the D line, I think they look great. Those freshmen have grown up. Yeah, in and, weeks. But and look, go ahead. We're, let, let's get let's before we go down to the defense because I I've got a lot to say about the, the defensive performance. A couple of things, offensive line wise, Zune is out from the beginning, right? Yeah. So we've got Aki starting at left tackle. Yep. Wyckoff comes in and plays the guard. left guard, right? Yep. Both of those guys were I I don't want to be as critical as I probably should be horrible all game long. I don't know about Wyckoff so much, but Aki, I, I just watched him get beat over and over. I mean, he was a step or two behind. I don't know if it was Anderson, whoever's lining up in front of him. Yeah, it, it didn't matter. passed him before. Yeah. And, you know, we didn't do anything to chip, it seemed like, or yeah. anything to help him. We mm-hmm. knew he was getting beat. It just kept happening. You're just like, I mean, it was a passing situation, which it seemed like it was the whole game because <laughs> – that's what Jimbo but, wanted to do. But. That's what he wanted to do. But it wasn't a passing situation the whole game. He just – that's what he made it be. Yeah. Right? He – look, King threw the ball 46 times, and there's probably another four or five that he ran, took off running, right? Mm-hmm. So that's 50 pass plays called. Hey, I'm just In a game that was a one-possession game the entire game, by the way. I'm surprised we ran the ball. I mean, we had 50 plays, no one else. I'm just happy we had 50 plays. You know, as knowing that you've got – Back up entire left side. And, and look, I've been talking up Wyckoff all year, right? I've been talking up Wyckoff oh, yeah, all year. you thought he as, as a center. Yeah. At guard, he just looks out of place. He doesn't have – man, he, with, he you get him in a little bit more space, he's in trouble. Right. He's in trouble. And he, he, you know, he showed that on Saturday. We got some of Cam Dewberry, the freshman, out there in the second half when they pulled Wyckoff out. I thought Cam actually played pretty well. For his first action, yeah. first action of the year, uh, he's a big dude too. Dude is a big, big dude. And and to tell you the truth, I thought he held up a lot better than Wyckoff in the passing game as well. Our weakest link all game long was Aki. Oh, by far. I mean, it was obvious. You know, and what I don't understand is the dude has trouble inside where you don't have as much space. 
and then you're going to shift him out to left tackle. And he can't. Where that dude couldn't stay anywhere close to those outside rushers. And he couldn't even drop his foot and get in front of him at no. all. I mean, the guy was buying, but uh, it was just. But to your point, you know that. Exactly. You know that. Yeah. And you don't run the football to help him. No. You don't sit in there and chip. You don't help with the tight end. If you don't run a screen pass or anything, if this guy's getting upfield on you all day, don't you burn him on a couple times? At least. At least. I mean, if he's At just, least. If I keep letting him go, well, then let him go. And let's run a little screen or something. to. Three things, and I'm going to tell you, this was three things. Uh, so there was a third down. At one point, it was like third down and 10, I believe, after he goes pass, pass, first and second down. Of course. Oh, yeah, you got to do that. Pass, pass, first, second down. Yeah. Third down and 10, knowing that those guys are teeing off on third down, mm-hmm. and he actually runs the ball, but he, he runs a little uh, read with uh, A-chain, and he ends up giving it to A-chain, and he gets, I don't know, three, four yards. Mm-hmm. But if he'd have kept it, they had the power coming back underneath, that middle of the field just opened up. Right, because what was Alabama doing on third down? They were doing all your all oh, their yeah. stunts, man, and they were coming yeah. up the field. If if King keeps that ball, he might hit himself on the goalposts. I'm just saying, there was the middle of the field was open. It seemed like all day because Alabama was coming through mm-hmm. the outside. They were daring him to step up in the pocket or make a play, and he just wasn't doing it. I was just waiting for it all day. Like, oh man, I think the first play of the game, he ran for like 19 yards. A little boot, uh, they, yeah, they, yeah. Boot, they, they ran a little boot, which we've talked about. Hey, run some more boot action, get him yeah. out, out from the pocket. Now, it's a good thing that he was able to run that play because the receivers weren't looking for the ball at all. That's um, the thing, yeah. So they got about 15, 15 yards right there. Um, on when our receivers play. are out of the play, they're out of the play. They just, yeah, you know. Uh, you know, but he comes out, he does that, and then right off the bat, right, he, that's a pass. Next play. Play action, right? Uh, then they come out in an empty. Once again, good protection. Pass batted down. You know, four wide the next play. Mm-hmm. You know, so you start the game off. Your best player is a tailback that's sitting back there. Your offensive line is beat oh, up. Awful, yeah. And you go pass, 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 punt, right? Yeah. So, I mean, come on, man. Give him a chance. No, we, we haven't learned from our mistakes. You know, and, and you get into the third down on that one after it goes pass, pass, pass. Third down, well, we talked about it before the game. Alabama's going to – you get them in passing situations, they're going to start twisting, stunting, doing all the things with their defensive line. What they do, twists on both sides, you're, and your offensive line gives it up, right, and puts mm-hmm. pressure. But what are you going to do, man, because – you know your offensive line already struggles with that. You can't at this point in the season. You can't say, "Well, we should have picked it up." It's four man pressure. We should have picked it up. Yeah, sure. But don't put yourself in a situation where it's third and ten, and those guys can just tee off on it. And if you do, run the freaking draw. Like you said, the middle of the field was wide open because both of those defensive tackles are twisting outside. Yeah, all day it was open. So, uh, you know, there was like I said, there was some things in there. I would have, I wanted to run the full, look, third down and short. They got in two tight ends, Did two backs, got the first down. There you go. Ran the lead play right over the left side. Boom. Why well, can't we do that on first down? And that's my point, right? Yeah. You know what they want to do. He's you know they want a blocker or two to A chain, our best player. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can do. Give him yeah. a couple more opportunities. He got this all offensive 16 line times. Can't block on passing downs. I mean, let's see what they 50 can do. Fifty passes called. 50 passes call. Mm. They, they, how many runs? 20. 20. How does that happen? It's, you know, in a one possession game at that. It's great coaching, man. It's just great coaching. A couple of things. Once again, I did like seeing that that one time. I, I wish we would have seen a little bit more of that. A little bit more of that. Helping out those tackles. Doing some more run game stuff. A double reverse. First trick play oh, of the year. God. First trick we play of the year, baby. We saw really like, man, it just happened. I almost fell out. <laughs> who, ran, who ran the reverse? Was it Stewart? Stewart. Oh, I mean, I love giving him the ball in space, but, you know, it didn't work out that well. But at least hey, let the defense, kept the defense honest. Sure enough. 
Got about six yards. I, I just like to play. see Max you know, work. And he got underneath the defensive end that was so far up the field that the guy, you know, that he came on a double reverse, came underneath it. But see, the problem I have is our the plays we're running, everything seems to be to the outside or downfield. The middle of the field is not being used yes. at all. I mean, the one time we use it, we get a, play, a pass interference call right there at the end of the game. But, I mean, it seems so much of that with our – like Moose, he runs over the middle. I mean, mm-hmm. I think that, that one drop might have been around that. But yeah. he, uh, him and Stewart, their quickness, they should be able to. You know, and there was a couple of other opportunities for him to hit. I think a couple of them, Marshall, Marshall Stewart, one's yeah. coming over the middle that he was open, and he, he, he goes to the outside instead. You know, so there was a couple of other little ones that went on crossing routes, you know, that he could have probably hit some guys in the middle of the field. Yeah, but the problem is that he was he was getting so much quick pressure that it was hard. It was hard to do it, right? Right. It's hard to look folks off and do different things. There was a couple of times when he, you know, look once again, if he sees it right away, he probably gets it off even in front of pressure, right? Right. But then pressure hits, and now he's trying to escape. You know, there was one time he ran into the sack a little bit. Um, but honestly, if Max Johnson's back there, there's 10 sacks in that game, and I think there was only three. None of our quarterbacks, neither one of them, get the ball, get rid of it quickly. Right. I mean, Haynes, when he loads up, it takes him a while to load up because he points the nose of that ball back, and then he brings it forward. That sucker is way it back. It drives me crazy every time I see him because he loads up. He's like, here it comes. And he's like. He's the anti-Dan Marino. Oh, dude, you guys. Uh, it's not a quick release. You know, there's another thing, though. Double move. We had a double move. I think the, the first one I see it, Moose, Moose, late in the game, they hit him on that little, it looked like a little seam ride down the middle deep. Yep. That was a little quick hitch and go. Mm. And boy, was he wide open. Well, and you know what? If, if he hits him in stride, it's a touchdown. Yeah. It, it, you know, but he ended up, you know, a little bit overthrown and he catches it up, up high. But wide open. You know why? Because the entire day, and it doesn't matter what game you watch for the Aggies, all day long, every one of those routes is six, seven, ten yards. That's it. Yep. Every single one of them. You know, I got to give it to Nick Saban. He's learned from his mistakes. Did you see him kicking off? Did he kick the ball to A chain much? No. You no. kicking it to Preston or in the end zone? I mean, you learn from your mistakes. Has Jimbo done that? Not so much. I just, man. But, hey, overall, I think the Aggies, All right, so what they have, hey, offensively. Look, and offensively, they score off the turnovers, right? Yeah. Both of the fumble recoveries led to the touchdowns. Yeah. They made what they could off of those turnovers. It was right. big. Um, you know, but all day long, he comes out, pass, pass, pass on first down. I just, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I just love to see turnovers. Finally. Leaky offensive line when you do that. So, all right. Either way, we had a chance. We had a very, we had a chance. very solid chance. 24 to 20 mm-hmm. with the ball in your hands. Yeah. And you get down into the, inside the five-yard line, mm-hmm. you got a chance. Defensively, dude, let me tell you right now the first thing. You said it. What? McKinley freaking Jackson. Oh, dude. Just makes everybody on the defense better. It does. Everybody. I mean, he takes up. They need to put two guys on him to block him. I mean, you see Russell come free, and what does he do? Strip sack? Is that the sack on the backside? Diggs, both times, got the strip sack. Okay, I thought Russell got the sack back in the back. Yeah, Russell got the sack early coming off coming off the edge. Yep. That's what I'm saying. I mean, and that's Jackson taking on two guys yeah. in the middle where you didn't have any rakes. I'll give rakes credit. He plays all right. Nolan, he's going to get a lot better. He's oh, going to be great. Nolan's going to continue. Diggs and those guys need to give money to Jackson. Hey, man. Hey, Share some of that nil. Man. Seriously, man. Here, hey, I got, here. I got these strip sacks, bro. Here's you your, made here's your chunk, good. Russell. I'll tell you, and Russell needs to give money to everybody. If freaking Lee wouldn't have butt Jalen Jones on that one fumble where Jalen picked it up, that could have been a scoop of score right oh. there. Oh man, I was sitting there, I had goosebumps, just going, oh man, he might. Oh. He was, he was looking for it. Oh, I know. He was oh, looking for God, it. I was, oh, I was. You know, and, and, and honestly, honestly, nobody's going to catch Jalen, I don't think. He gets loose. He's, no. And, and he, look, and that defense deserves <laughs> a score, man. Deserves a score. No, they do. Because they set up more our they touchdowns, did. right? They did. They set up our touchdowns. It, but that's what we expected, you know? That's yes. what we've been expecting all season. And they finally For the got the first time turn. all year, we based out of a four-man line. We did play some three-man line, but it was very little. 
Now, see, I, I don't know if Durkin, if he would have changed the scheme that Bryce Young would have been in, or if that that's what he needs to go with all the time. If we would have done that in Mississippi State. Well, here's we were aggressive. We were aggressive with yeah. that four-man front. And even when, yeah, and that's the whole thing. Like, they had four-man front, but they were bringing five and six at times, mm-hmm. right? Especially in those in those big downs. You know, one of them cost you for a touchdown, but that's okay. You gotta that's take okay. Your take a shot. Take a shot. I'd rather take a shot and get after the quarterback and let our – our athletic secondary have chances to make plays instead of letting them sit back and try to react and let the quarterback just dink and dunk. Especially with Milrow back there because now you're going to force him to go make a heck of a throw, and he did. Yeah. He did a couple of times. Oh, Don't yeah. get me wrong. Oh, he's a good quarterback. Don't get you me know, wrong. He's going to be good. He's going to be good. Yeah. He's no young. No. He's not a pocket. But the dude, by the way, is athletic. athletic as can be. Yeah. And he, I mean, I well, know you kept saying Corey. You remember me a lot. He was like, "I know." I, mean, I, does. I don't think I ever said that. I but, but now you said he was like Derrick Henry, is what you did say. Yeah, the dude. I mean, he's just he's he's thick, dude. He's yeah. got you know big lower legs, yeah. and I mean the guy could get after him. Yeah. Uh, and he burnt us a few times. A defensive end comes crashing down inside and gives up the edge on a couple of them. A couple of them, you've got forty-five Cooper in there yeah. as the spy, and he tries to. Spot come inside instead of stay, you know following mm-hmm. him outside. He comes inside and the guy breaks. And that's he's done. the problem we did have on defense, and you talked about it during the games. Mm-hmm. They were containment. Um, we knew he wasn't that great of a pocket passer so much, but they would break containment and give up the runs. Yeah, which was very frustrating, especially on third downs. Yeah, because he would just, you know, he'd be like, "Oh, well, they let me have this. I'm gonna take it." Yeah, no, I thought that that was the biggest issue, and I, and I'll say this, you know. We have such a problem covering gaps with our linebackers. I mean, our, they're still, in spite of the fact that, man, the defensive line really made it a lot easier on them this past week, right? I mean, mm-hmm. uh, because like you said, McKinley was taken up to, um, I thought Diggs played a pretty good game. Yep. Uh, Stewart, Stewart on the on the defensive line played a pretty good game uh, with lots of snaps. You know, we were missing Turner, but Rakes got, got, got those reps. You know, Regis, I think, still struck. First sighting of Adarius Jones out there, too. First sighting of a Darius hmm. Jones on the defensive line. Some, you know, another upperclassman that's going get, to that gets on the field and can provide a little bit of, of you yeah, know, muscle. I don't remember seeing. Him, to be honest with you. Um, so I thought the defensive line did a pretty good job of protecting him. Diggs, Stewart, Overton. Every once in a while, they'll bury their heads inside and give up that. Give Let up me that throw a side. few names at you real quick, and you tell me how they did. Johnson, Antonio. You know, Antonio. You made that one big play. Yeah. The big interception, right? Yeah. Well, the interception was Gilbert. Well, I thought Antonio, my bad. Yeah, the interception was Gilbert. And Gilbert on yeah, a I thought really good play. Well, see, I thought that Gilbert made a good play on that, but I thought he, I thought he blew up. He had a couple of them. He had a couple of them where he was a little late reacting to one, and, and it, the look. What are we talking about all the time? They never covered a tight end. The touch, the first touchdown to the tight end. Yeah. Didn't cover him. That was and that was Richardson. And then Gilbert tried to, you know, he was playing the middle, and he tried to react, but he was late reacting to the tight end in there, and so they got it. Did Chappelle play at all? Was Chappelle he... did not play. Okay, that's a big loss. That's a big loss. But in his absence, I'll tell you what, you know, they come out with Deuce Harmon. Deuce Harmon gets hurt early. Yeah. And Denver Harris gets Harris. thrown into the game. Yeah. And I thought that dude really showed up. Yeah. Look, that's another freshman undersized with what they call – they like – our corners to do, which is come in and take on the run and all those things, especially against a team like this, mm-hmm. physical like they were. I thought that dude stepped up, man, and had a pretty good game. I think our secondary outplayed the, the wide receivers of Alabama. Yeah. The entire game. Yeah. And we saw a lot of Kerr. We saw some of Matthews, you know. Uh, but, you know, once again, and, and look, Richardson – he, I think he led this team in tackles on Saturday. But, man, he's about, he's slow getting to a lot of things. I I was not not pleasantly you know impressed at all with, with the way that Monty played. What did you think about uh, that running back for Alabama, Gibbs? Man, he's, he, pretty quick. he's pretty quick. Yeah, he is. He's pretty quick. I don't know what his actual yardage was, but he had a lot of yards. And a lot of it inside. Yeah, it was inside. You know? And they uh, that's a lot of, like you were saying about our linebacker play. It's uh... Yeah, and, it, you know, it was one of those things where on one of those plays they sit in there and 
one linebacker, mm-hmm. right? And it's Russell. And, you know, he overruns, plays off, and sure enough. But he doesn't, so he doesn't fit the gap well. And we don't have any overlap because yeah. Cooper's on outside. And your other overlap players are your safety that are 10 yards deep. I mean, and all of a sudden, yeah. So, okay, yeah, you give up a big run. Well, but, you know, they have, they had a tight end on the field, a back on the field. That's six guys up front. Yeah. And we got a five-man box. Right? Right. Like, that's simple mathematics to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> look, overall, though, this defense really, really kept on coming. Kept on coming. Just, you know, sometimes they give up a big play. They, a couple of big runs to Milrow, right? A couple of big runs to Gibbs. Uh, but, man, then they just line up, come and do it again. Yep. I love the intensity of the defense. They play hard. They're not always right where they need to be. I think McKinley is huge. McKinley Jackson, I think just what he gives them, like you're saying, the intensity, I think he they feed off of that with him. I think yeah. that that's going to – as long as he stays healthy, I think our the, defense is going to be. The few times, you know, when they when the defensive ends would stay outside and keep Milrow in the pocket, man, I thought they really did a good job. Both of the strip sacks, by the way, ended up being good coverage on the back end. Yeah. Diggs kept working, kept working, comes back underneath and gets it as he steps up in the pocket, man. And that's one thing with Diggs, as you see it. He's not, you know, such an explosive beast off the edge, mm-hmm. but the dude will not stop. And... It served him very well on Saturday. We didn't see Malik Silla at all, who I thought had done some good things the last couple of days. But, you know, like I said, uh, uh, Stewart on the other side, you know, also also looked pretty good. I mean, you got to remember these guys are fresh, fresh. I mean, I'm talking. Not digs. I'm talking, I mean, but Stewart, uh, Nolan, I'm talking 18-year-old freshmen. Yeah. They were playing against Alabama. It's true yeah. freshmen. I mean, that's huge. I mean, Huge. You still got another year of that. I mean, that's what we had said coming into the season. This year, we were expecting, oh, maybe nine, ten wins. Everybody's, I think, honestly, I don't want to talk too much about the future, but the future's bright if all these guys stick around. Yeah, and that's the whole thing, right? You got you to gotta, you gotta inspire a little bit of confidence over here so that make sure that these guys do stick around. And, and, and defensively, you would think that, you know, most of these guys are getting on the field. You think mm-hmm. they want to, you know, the question, I don't know. This get this team started Marshall and Stewart on offense this week, right at wide receiver. Both of them started. Yep. Marshall got several catches. You don't think they're going anywhere, but you just never know, I guess. But I mean, the offensive play calling has got to get better. It's got to be. I mean, fifty passes is fifty passes, but they all know the best players in the backfield. I mean, of course Alabama knows that, but we're not doing anything to help them out. Yeah, I mean no, that's absolutely. the whole thing. I mean, we talk about it all the time. We tell we're blue in the face, but. Jimbo's like, yeah, he's our best player. We're going to get the ball to, you know, someone's up. I mean, I I would think A-Chain would be on my list of guys that I needed to get the ball to as yep. often as possible, right? And I'll be honest with you, Haynes King played better than I thought he was going to play. I was worried about the turnovers. I mean, he only had the one. I thought there was going to be a ton. I'll be honest with you. I thought with the pressure he was getting that game, I was like, oh, shit, he's going to fill it up and somebody's going to catch it, not our guy. Yeah, and, you know, the, that's the whole thing is under the kind of pressure that he was he was in, right? Mm-hmm. Like, easily, you could have seen, oh, the guy threw three interceptions or something, right? Oh. But no, he didn't. He didn't. Instead, he, he avoided pressure a ton. He gave the team a chance by getting the ball out there a bunch of times. You know, I thought that he played pretty darn well for what he was given to work with. You know, I wish he would have tucked that one option and ran, right? (laughs) What really irritates the hell out of me is that we play Alabama in Alabama to a 24-20 score with their backup quarterback. They have injuries. We have injuries. It's part of football. We can't beat App State at our home field. Yeah. We, We go to Mississippi State and get embarrassed. Right. What what that's what that's, that's, that's the what, problem. That's that is the problem. That's the problem because I think the game against Alabama shows you the level of talent yes, you have on the field. Exactly. Wow. We, did we expect to win the game? No. Did we expect to be close? You did. You're like, hey, this, you know. 
the other people that the pe- we were with, they were like, hey, this should be my bet. Well, look, and, and that was my whole thing. It's like, look, this game is going to be closer than people expected, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, there was people, that line moved up. So crazy. the betters were betting on Bama. Yeah, right? crazy. Uh, look, talent-wise, man, we are there, talent-wise. We are, yeah. That's the most frustrating part about all this. That's what everybody can think. listen to me get upset and yeah. talk mess and all this stuff and how negative I can be sometimes with the play calling. But the reason is because the talent is there. If look, if we were Mississippi State, Kansas, whatever, yeah, without the facilities, the talent, the players, and all this, it'd be like, hey, you know, they did a pretty good job. They hung in there. Great moral victory. Here, exactly. You know what I mean? That's how I'm feeling right now about this game we just played. I feel like it's a moral victory. We should feed off of this. We didn't win the game. We played Alabama, the number one team in the nation. Team in the nation. With their backup. I don't give a shit if they're backup yeah, or not. It's Alabama. Yeah. We played them 24 Some people are going to say we had a backup quarterback, but I'm not going to give you that. Yeah. King has been starter in this team from I, I the beginning of the season. But that defense showed up. They caused turnover, something they haven't been doing. They got after him. Why can't we do that every game? Why can't we do that against Mississippi State? Pressure, 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 right? <laughs> You're not going to get it with a three-man front? No. Uh, I thought that was the biggest improvement by this team this week is that defense going from a four-man front, bringing pressure to yeah. go from a three-man front to a four-man front, right? I thought it made all the difference in the world. I and they so kept too. us in the game. I, the I game. agree. I mean, because you're bringing that pressure. Quarterback's got to get rid of the ball quick, or he's got to make he's gonna make a bad decision. Yeah, I don't care which quarterback it is. You watch them in the NFL; it happens all the time. Look, and we come out at the end of the first half, and I know want to go down in there and score, but he what does what does he do? Quick, quick hitch to the short side, quick whatever to the short side, quick you know an interception. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, if you're gonna come out in that in that situation. Don't keep just, you know, and then yeah. eventually he get, you know, he, he gets hot and he that late throw and and he threw the pick, but you gave that's a field goal right there. Yeah. By the way, you don't give up that field goal. It's a one point game. It's true. It's a one point game at the end. Yeah. And you get a kick the field goal to win. Yeah. Big, big, there at the end of the half. All right, offense player of the game for. You. I don't know if I'm going to go with Moose or if I'm going to go with Stewart, but I'll go with Moose. Moose played great. I thought he did great. Six for 64, yeah. touchdown. Yeah. I mean, Stewart had that great catch. I, mean, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you could go with either one of those I two mean, guys. I, I thought Punter did great. Stewart, eight for 106. Yeah. Yeah. He did. Stewart, he uh, you could, I, I agree with you. You could go with either one of those two guys. I'm going to go with Haynes King. I'm going to go with Haynes King. There you go, Haynes. Look. You won't hear that and much this year, will you? You won't hear that much this year. <laughs> Look, and he only threw for 253, right? Two touchdowns, though. 253, two touchdowns, and a pick. You say only 253? We haven't thrown That's, 253 all year. Right. But here's the thing. Probably broke the records. dude was under duress. constant duress. Yeah. And without him, I'm telling you, there's 10 sacks in that game. Well, 10. I'm hoping Haynes grew up from each game. He's grown. And that way, you know, I mean, South Carolina's not going to bring the kind of pressure. They're going to try to. They're not going to bring it like South Carolina, who? Beat Kentucky Kentucky this past week. Who? Didn't have their quarterback. But I'm just saying, South Carolina's not going to bring the kind of pressure. They don't have the athletes that Alabama has. So Haynes has to have confidence saying, hey, I threw for 253 against Alabama. Right. Why can't you do that against Mississippi State? Hey, let's try to put him in some better situations. Yeah, because he's our starting quarterback throughout the season right now, right? Yeah. Max and Les Connor gets in there, which I was honestly begging for Connor to start the game and get in there and get some reps because I want to get his feet wet. Did. I want to get his feet wet. Thank goodness he did. Defensive player of the game. Oh, McKinley, that's my man. I think, yeah, I think you can go with McKinley Jackson because of the, you know, his numbers weren't just through the roof. No. But it's, just it's the, the effect he has on the rest of that team because yeah. of his presence out there. He is taking on double teams. And he's allowing those linebackers to run a little freer. He's allowing the defensive ends at one-on-ones, right? Exactly. The other defensive tackles getting one-on-one. I'm going to go with Diggs, who caused the two fumbles. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to go with Diggs, who caused the two fumbles. Both of those led to touchdowns, right? Mm-hmm. Both of those led to touchdowns. 
you know, and he always plays hard, right? But going with Jackson is, I mean, I love his motor, dude. Yeah, yeah motor. Dude, that's what I'm saying. That's that right there. I mean, you can't teach that to somebody. Yeah. It's it's he has it, and I'm telling you, as long as he's on the field, our defense is going to play great. I'm saying great. Yeah. Um, South Carolina better watch out. I think that you know we got a week to get some guys healthy. Foster got a little banged up at center. I'm not sure how. I think it was a knee, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to see if Jimbo says anything today on that. A couple one. other injuries. If we get guys healthy, second get half back. season, yeah, get Chappelle back. I mean, you get. Uh, I'm not sure who else. Um, yeah. What about Zoom? Is he out for a long time? Hopefully not. Hopefully that's a small thing. Hopefully we, we, need, him we, we need, need him back. We need him back. We need him back. That's gonna be the. That might be the biggest one because yeah. if we cannot, yeah. They can't play hockey out there again this week. Mm-hmm. They need to if if Zune is out, Crownover needs to get his first yeah. start out there. Okay? We don't have the we have depth at in at uh, in backfield and defensive backfield. We have depth on the defensive line. I mean mm-hmm. McKinley, I don't think we can replace, which he showed that. But offensive line, we can't afford to lose Zune no. for a period of time. Zune who's been one of our best offensive linemen in his first year as a starter. And this is a second year in a row that we've had a Change up our offensive line against Alabama. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Without much it, it, late in the week. Yeah. All right, around the country, Corey. Around yeah. the country. It's here. Georgia comes back, starts flexing their muscles a little bit again this week. Yeah, we kind of figured that one would happen. Yeah. Who was it against? Uh, Auburn. Auburn. Yeah. Beats the mess. Beats Auburn, the mess yeah. out of Auburn. And, and look, Auburn. We all know not great and all this. But look, Auburn played to LSU tough, and they played. You know, they played some teams tough. They just got Georgia just made it. Yeah, I think Auburn's going to throw in the towel here pretty soon. Staying in the SEC, Tennessee comes out and says, "Wait a minute, Georgia. Wait a minute, Georgia. They we can play good. too. They look pretty good, don't they? That's going to be a good game next week. They manhandled LSU. It wasn't even close. Tennessee, Alabama next week. That is a good game. I don't know if Bryce Young will be ready for that one or not, but woo, could be a shootout. He better be. That's they all I got. Could be a shootout because I'll be honest. Be. Alabama's defense is fast, and they're going to give him pressure, but that secondary, I think, is vulnerable. Yeah, I think so. I, I, look, and Haynes King can throw for 253. What's Hendon Hooker going to throw for? And Hendon Hooker's a good damn quarterback. <laughs> he's the oldest player. I mean, shit, he's the oldest Tom Brady almost, I think they said. That's pretty good. I, I, mean, yeah. I, hope, I hope he's got his AARP stuff ready. All right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, look, one of the most impressive wins of the weekend – Texas just whoops up on OU. Oh, man, that quarterback's back. Quinn Ewers looks good. Oh, yeah. He's confident. Quinn Ewers. Uh, and don't get me wrong, Oklahoma was playing without a quarterback because, you know, uh, Gabriel was, yeah. was, was hurt. Yeah. And so they couldn't throw the ball at all. Mm-hmm. They were running a bunch of wildcat and doing yeah. whatever they can to try to move the ball. But on the other side of the football, Venables, Venables is catching a lot of heat this week because even their defense looks like crap. Yeah. Especially when they started. They started 3-0. and Then the last three games, I saw something today. They've been – Minus one ten in point differential, and it's been bad. If you watch that game or any of the OU games, you know that they're complaining a lot about the same shit we complain about with Durkin that he's yeah. running a bunch of three man line with defensive ends wide yeah. as shit, and boy, they're just getting. I don't work. understand that how teams can afford to do that. I mean, you watch one team do it, don't you? Learn from others' mistakes too. But oh well, go ahead. OSU rolls. Ohio yeah. State, yeah, another another big win. Michigan struggles in the first half, kind of, yeah, you know, but then they come back. Uh, I'm Indiana, expecting Michigan to lose Indiana. big time to Ohio State when they meet up. Honestly, I don't think yeah. Michigan has the horses. I don't think they can keep up. No, I don't think so either. Uh, Clemson, a nice easy win for them. They they seem to have gotten things going. Right. There's uh, they've gotten through the hardest part of the schedule at this point, haven't they? I don't know if you have it on there, but TCU. Oh, 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 buddy. That was a hell of a game. Did you watch oh, that? Buddy. Kansas? Well, they came out, and it looked like they were going to run away with the damn oh, thing. yeah. And then Kansas comes rolling back, back up quarterback. quarterback. Threw and, the ball over ooh, the place. Ooh, that guy ooh. was just – my dad kept calling me, are you watching this quarterback? It's like, as soon as I turned it on and watched him, he throws a pick right in the middle. And he threw a right to TCU. He yeah. just kind of looked around and said, there you go. Hell of a, hell of a game, though. All right, hell of a game. It was, was Big 12 football right there Yeah, the second half. Uh, Mississippi State just whoops up in Arkansas without KJ. Well, Mississippi State's a lot better than people are thinking. I mean, they beat A and M good. They beat the only they lost to LSU I in a game that they were in, that into in the fourth quarter and had some turnovers. I need to go back and watch it. But they they yeah, ultimately LSU's front 
caused a lot of problems for them because they they couldn't four four man rush and they right. they were bring they got pressure all day long. A team we're not talking about that I don't even know if you have it on there. South Carolina beats Kentucky. We said it earlier. Yeah, South Carolina beats Kentucky. What about Ole Miss? Undefeated. Ole Number Miss six, undefeated. I think or nine or something. But they struggled with Vandy for the first half. Yeah, but then they flexed their muscles and yeah. they and Lane didn't take his foot off the gas. I mean, no. He was throwing the ball. Well, the game's well in hand. He's putting up more points than in the game. Okie State stays undefeated. Yep. Another another team up there. You know, that Big 12 all of a sudden has some interesting games coming up, yep. right? Yeah. Because you got Oklahoma State. You got TCU. You Texas. got Texas. Kansas right? is playing better. Kansas is playing better. Oklahoma might lose to Kansas. This oh, week. yeah. Yeah, Oklahoma. It's only a seven-point spread in that game. Look at it. <laughs> I'm taking Kansas. <laughs> oh, I think I would, too. Yeah. Or the over. All right. Questions from the tailgate brought to you by Carney's Pub and Grill. Good times, good drinks, good people. All right. Who's your quarterback going forward? Do we get any looks at Connor? No, nah, not right now. Not unless we really screw up against South Carolina. Jimbo's set his feet. He's playing. He's, uh, we're going with Haynes King. I'd love to see Connor out there. but I'm going to go with a different take here. I Look. Is this Haynes, season no, 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 done? No, no, no. no. I, I want to continue to see Haynes King. I want to see Haynes King out there. I think he just played the best game he's ever played. I think he needs to continue to get those reps. He is the, he is the guy that gives us the best chance going forward. However, next season we're gonna look for I think we need to find a few drives in meaningful minutes with Connor in the game. Just... Has he even got in? What did he get in? Did he get in the first game? I don't remember. I, no, I don't think so. I don't think he's. I don't think he's got a snap mm. this year. But to me, that's to me. Hmm. Now is when you have to get him some exposure, right? Yeah, we need. Look, it. in meaningful time with the first team against the first team defense, yeah. right? All right. Unless they find on red shirt and he can only play four games, he hasn't played well, any. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, got four. Yeah, he's got four get more. Get him to in go. there somewhere. Get him in there. Get him a little experience. Yeah. No, let him play a half. I don't care. But like. Later. Something. We should beat South Carolina no matter who's the quarterback, right? Right. We should. Some exposure. But Kentucky couldn't do it. That's right. (laughs) I mean. Uh, All right. How many games does this team win this year now? We've gone through. We got six games left. Six games left, right? Six games. South Carolina, W. Who's after that? Let me pull them up real quick. I just had them. I was just looking at them. South Carolina, W. Is it Ole Miss? Ole Miss. That's going to be a tough one. Ole Miss is at home, so. I mean, you know me. I'll, I'll say win. I don't think Florida's that good. I think we should beat Florida. We should beat Auburn. We should beat UMass. And LSU. I mean, all those games are very winnable. I don't see why. I mean, we'll probably lose one of those games at least. Probably. All right, so I was going to ask you. So you see, are you telling me they're going to go 6-0? No. Are they, are they going 6-0 no. the rest of the year? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Last year they lost to Ole Miss and LSU. Ole Miss was not yeah. maybe not as good. LSU maybe not as good. Ole Miss was as good. It's not better. They had a better quarterback last year. Ole Miss is running the ball over everybody. Yeah. Well, and who is Ole Miss? An overall game? Who is Ole Miss? Yeah. Beat? They just beat Vandy. You Bandy. said they had a hard time in the first half. Hey, Bandy's, they're undefeated. We lost to Appalachian State. All I'm saying yeah, we is, we lose anybody. So you're <laughs> telling me we can lose all and six. We can lose all six. Of them. Six and zero. Oh. Now I'll say five and one. All right, five and one. Hey, look! I love your confidence. I love your confidence. I love your confidence. Where are you? Where are you at? I'm gonna say four and two. To who? LSU and uh, I'm gonna uh, say Ole four Miss? and two. I'm I mean, not gonna. gonna I'm not gonna right? narrow my. Well, God, I mean, we, we, you have to narrow. We're we gonna lose to South Carolina or UMass. <laughs> I also want to bring in. We're gonna lose to Florida. The Astros, baby. Which where's it at? Astros, baby. Starting the playoff tomorrow. Number one in the AL. Let's go. We got a World Series coming. I hey, love it. Real quick before we get out, did you watch Tom Brady get sacked yesterday? Did you see that BS call? Oh, that's that's a sack, and they called it roughing the passer. Yeah, I can't. He horrible. had the tuck rule, now he's got the sack rule. Yeah. I mean, he, even people are like, oh, that's Tom Brady. You can't do that to him. They should ask him to take a knee if they touch him. Oh, I can't believe it. It's just ridiculous. Giga Maggies. AP. Woo! Corey, signing out.